guys, I want to ask you, you guys help create the film. Uh, it looks very exciting. I just went through a maze and I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Use the restroom twice already. Uh, <laughs> but in a good way, you know. Um, what is the Bye Bye Man to you guys? How did the idea get conceived and everything like that? Well, the idea was out there. It was uh, based on a short story called The Bridge to Body Island that the author says was based on true events. And so this we kind of took that mythology, which was codified and put down in that story and expanded it into this. Um, but I think one of the scarier things about it is that it was already out in the, in the universe. Mm -hmm. And, we, you know, and everyone wants to be able to create something modern and fresh. And what we tried to do is take the idea of a boogeyman and the pantheon of all the great ones and, and find one that doesn't do it the same way. He's psychological. He's telepathic. He knows you're thinking about him. He comes to you. And then what he makes you see and he makes you hallucinate are things that are specific to you. And that's what's terrifying. You might just walk in your car and you think someone is in your car wanting to attack you. You attack it and it's your girlfriend. It's, he, he really gets right in your head. Uh, approaching the horror film, where did, did you guys draw from any inspirational, uh, get inspiration from previous horror films or maybe classics from the 70s and stuff like that, which we keep always referring to? Well, those are the sure. greats, you yeah. know. I, I mean, this, the movie that got me on this path in my life is called Silent Scream, which is, is a lesser known movie, but it's an incredible movie with uh, Barbara Steele. She's amazing as Victoria, who's about to kill you, and she I thought she was in my closet when I was a kid. But, um, <laughs> I, you know, the great horror movie for me is Rosemary's Baby with um, it being about, what, you know, it's, it's a feminist movie, it's a terrifying movie, and um, I think more than anyone, that, that, that's the one that inspires me the most. Yeah, I mean, the, the, I got into horror as a fan first, probably because of The Thing and Alien, the more sci-fi mm -hmm. oriented horror. The Thing was the first, horror, first scary movie I saw, and mm -hmm. it sticks with me to this day, and I still love it. Although, some of the supernatural stuff like this is uh, really, because it's a little more relatable, it's all the scarier. Yeah. So, I was asking some of the cast that I interviewed too do you, about the props do you guys get to keep some of the awesome props <laughs> um i don't want to say i might have the original nightstand but um the I original might. nightstand is out there anyone could find it <laughs> and you could open that drawer and then his name could be in it and the fact is is there might be his name might be in another another drawer somewhere else because someone else wrote it someplace too i mean that's the thing about the bye bye man it can be anywhere because he's everywhere but yes, we keep some props. <laughs> <laughs> I would like I would like to keep some, I would really like to have some of that makeup to put it on like a mask. Yeah. That's what I would like. Would it, uh, so being scared is kind of a negative, but people keep is coming it? to horror films. What is it about horror films that people just keep coming It makes in? you know you're alive, I think. It's so exciting. It's like speed, it's like mm -hmm. humor. I mean, you were saying that earlier. Yeah, it's like no, it fear is an it's an evil it's we are hardwired to be afraid of things. And that's what that's why we survive as a species, and there's no getting away from it. And so you, it's that same thing that makes you wanna. You can't open the door, but you've got to open the door. You can't open the door, but you've got to open the. It's, it, and our job is to play that door. It's atavistic. You want to be afraid. You want to be. You want that feeling on the back of your neck. You want to have goosebumps. Why? It, it makes you feel grounded, and it makes you happy in a weird way. It does. Yep. And nothing is to be more uh, more happiness than watching this film on oh. opening weekend with a large crowd and everyone just and everyone's yelling. And shrieking. On Friday the thirteenth. Friday the thirteenth. Uh, the luckiest day of the year. There's a new terrifying <laughs> boogeyman for you, and you can find him on Friday the 13th. Let, let's do it. If you say his name, or even think it, he'll come for you. He makes us see things. Don't say it, don't think it. He makes us do things. Don't say it, don't think it. <laughs> Spreads like a virus. Don't say it, don't think it. We're all losing our minds. Don't say it, don't think it. What do you see? We have to help them! No, it's a trick! <laughs> don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it! Bye bye, man.